elements in order again. Yeah, actually, do you want to come around the side and I'll just... Okay. So we're going to form the channel in the kneeling roll, set it down, have it angled very roughly 30 degrees or so from the target, maybe a little less. Stand behind it, step forward over it, bring your leg down so your leg is also oriented within about 30 degrees to the target. Then when you go to sit on your heel, you want it centered up so that your hips are balanced from side to side. Scoot forward just a little bit so that you feel like your tailbone is ahead of the heel. That tends to rock your pelvis forward. As you're, as you're setting the base of the position. Bring the left leg out so that the shin is vertical or ahead of vertical. Don't ever have it back behind. Sometimes you see sporter shooters doing that. Have it about vertical. Turning these toes in tends to stabilize the left and right uh, movement on the front of the position. Then we're going to, uh, without the gun, bring the arm up so that the elbow's up on top of the knee. Find a comfortable spot where that fits. Try and have the forearm in roughly a straight line with the thigh. And so as you do that, then if it ends up with the gun too high, um, you can add some stuff to the kneeling roll to raise the back into the position and lower the NPA. If the gun is too low, then you can lower the back end of the position, take some stuff out of the kneeling roll, and that will raise the NPA up. That's one of the ways to do that. Obviously, the, the butt plate has some effect on that. That's more, butt plate vertical is more about head position than it is about NPA. So try and get that right. Um, we're going to try and get around behind the rifle with the gun as short as we can get it. One of the tricks to this position is when you first get in position, you think you've got this right, but if you look through the V, you're pointed way over to the side. So you've got to find a way to kind of walk that over. You don't want to just move the forearm over because then you don't have vertical planes anymore. You want to keep both the left leg and the left arm in a vertical plane. So you got to kind of walk that over a little bit so you're looking through the V uh, roughly at your target. And maybe that means the knee has to be out a little farther. It's a fairly narrow position. It means there's a little more weight on the right knee, which means you've got less weight on the other two points mm -hmm. uh, as you balance the position. And so now lean towards the target. When you add the gun to the position, you should feel like you're leaned against the butt plate. The sling is pulling straight back away from the target. You're leaned straight forward toward the target into the butt plate. So you're not out beside the gun, you're around behind it. Great.